Hey, what is up, YouTube? Demon Sparks here, and today I wanted to shoot this video, guys, and show you off the capabilities of what Android can do, and using a OTG hub adapter for my phone. This is a hub I got off of eBay. It was under ten dollars. I think it was like six or seven, and just a card reader and hub has a card reader on the side. Supports micro and SD. Micro SD and SD, in case you got confused, has one, two, three USB 2.0 ports. One of which I have my normal Logitech USB mouse plugged into. The other one has a high speed USB 3.0 cable for my Note 3 phone, as well as the dock adapter type for my Seagate Barracuda dock. This is my hard drive, so Hitachi 320GB. I have all my data backed up and videos and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to show you guys how to connect this to your phone and read a hard drive, a physical hard drive, externally off of your phone. Now, I don't know why I can't get my screen to rotate, but that's irrelevant. So, obviously this is the hard drive plug. So, you would want to take this and plug it into your dock. All right, step one has been completed. That wasn't too hard, now was it? So, make sure everything's plugged into your OTG uh, hub adapter. I have my mouse and my hard drive plugged into it. Then plug that into your phone. Now, the only real issue I've noticed with this OTG hub, for me, is once it's been unplugged, the phone will be glitched into charging mode for some reason. And like I said, I don't know why I can't get my screen to rotate on the uh, home screen anymore. Which is quite annoying. And after a little bit of time, um, usually under a minute, there we go, it'll pop up with this. So, you have, I actually have the mouse uh, connected as well. So you see a little mouse icon. The mouse works by default. The hard drive will not work by default, mind you, I forgot to mention that. Um, you cannot have it supported to, I mean, formatted to anything except for XFAT. So if you want to use your hard drive on your Android and have it detected, you must format it to XFAT. FAT32 and NTFS will not be read by the Android file system. So there we go. Device storage, SD card storage, and USB drive A storage. 298 gigabytes. And there you have it. That's really that simple. That's all you gotta do to get this functional. So I'll go ahead and go into the settings of the phone as well and show you guys that everything is being read properly. So I went to storage. USB OTG storage. Available 96 gigabytes with a total space of 298 gigabytes. So, like I was saying, anyway, I will show you guys the uh, issue that I have with the OTG hub. So, as you can see, it's still plugged in and running. I know you might be able to even hear the hard drive running. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that or not, but it is running. This is also using external power. I have probably also failed to mention that. This runs off of a 12 volt power adapter, which I have plugged in, which powers the hard drive. Um, natively, it does not have enough uh, current to power the hard drive independently off of the hub itself. I've tried that. It does not have enough uh, amperage to spin the uh, platters on the hard drive, even though it's a laptop size one. It's very small. So I'll go ahead and unmount the hard drive and unplug it and I will show you guys the issue see now it's unplugged you see the battery icon just pop back up it still says it's charging and there's nothing obviously plugged in so it's the only minor issue really it's a nuisance I mean you can always restart your phone see the battery icon went back away you can always restart your phone to make the uh, system little glitch go away. It's just a really big nuisance because every time it glitches, it'll buzz as if it's being plugged in to be charged, but it's really not. Uh, real simple fix aside from that if you're 
available at home. You just plug it into charge and then unplug it after a few seconds and it'll stop the uh, glitching from happening on the system. Or if you really wanted, you could just restart your phone. That'll also fix it, but I never really restart my stuff, so... Yep. 117 hours and 118 hours exactly. So yeah, that's all we gotta do for that. Because this does not matter if it's rooted or not, obviously. I actually just had to wipe out my phone and reformat everything. And it's still working perfectly, except for the rotation. For some reason, it's not working on Go Launcher where I can't rotate my screen anymore. Uh, yeah, that's a shame. Anyways, sorry for rambling on you guys. I hope you like and enjoy this video and find it informational and helpful and enjoy. Again, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.